Good evening, everyone. The Marquette boys basketball team has been playing for nearly a month, but tonight is their first home game of the season. The Redmen hosting the Eskimos Marquette with a five-point lead after one. So to the second quarter we go, the Eskimos in transition. Zachary Rose can't get it to fall, but Austin Willa in a perfect position for the putback. Eskenaba pulls within four points. And suing possession, a great ball movement there from the Redmen to find John Thompson down low. And Marquette is back up by six. A couple minutes later on the other end, Carter Hudson lobs it inside to Willette who gets it to go. And the Eskimos cut the lead to two. The score was tied at 25 at halftime, but the Redmen pulled away in the second half to win at home 61 to 51. And taking the action now to Gwen, the model towners hosting Nagani. The Miners up 22 to four after one quarter. Gwen's first basket of the game didn't come until seven minutes into the first. In the second quarter now, Drew Lindbergh wide open down under for the easy two. The Miners go ahead and extend their lead to 20 points. Ensuing possession, Gwen working the ball. Mastin Love misses the tray, but Tucker Taylor turns garbage into gold and one. Gwen down by 19, though. On the other end, it was all Nagani tonight. Jason Waterman drains the pull-up jumper to put his team up by 22. Gwynn's offense started to click in the second half, but Nagani wins big 65-41. Checking out the boys' hoops scoreboards, Iron Mountain beat Gladstone 76-49. Marcus Johnson had 30 points tonight, and Foster Wonders had 29 points and 11 rebounds. The Mountaineers improved to 6-0. North Central wins on the road at Menominee 58-50. The Jets are 6-1. And, and the Hematites pick up their first win of the season with a 65-51 win over Kingsford. Girls Hoops action now. Westwood on the road at Gladstone. Getting to the action, Andy Bellinger and Aubriana Servant run the pick and roll. And Servant opens up the scoring with this one. The Braves with an early lead. Moments later, the Patriots in transition. Maddie Kosky pulls up just inside the arc and drains the long two. She had 21 points tonight. On the other end, another pick and roll. This time it's Marnia Lefebvre with the bucket. Nice fundamental, fundamental basketball from the Braves tonight late in the first. Tessalise now with a long jumper of her own. And that puts Westwood up by three. In the second, Westwood is sinking long jumpers left and right tonight. Carly Patron gets in on the action, and Westwood beats Gladstone 50-32. The Patriots are 6-0. Back to Marquette County. The Miners hosting the Purple Hornets late in the first quarter. Miners up five. Emily Papora drives and sinks the floater to increase the Miners' lead to seven points. She finished with ten points tonight. On the other end, Brianna Kynes with nowhere to go, but Josie Rice has somewhere to go, and that's to the rack. Nice post move there. Purple Hornets down by eight. In the second quarter, Hannah Voskel passes to an open Mackenzie Karkey, and she drains the three ball. Karkey had 13 points and five steals to lead the Miners tonight. Still in the second, Abby Nelson is a money from downtown from the corner. She had 10 points and eight boards as the Miners cruise to a 67-33 win over Lance. And checking out the girls' scoreboards, Jeffers cruise past Republic Michigami 69-20. Munising wins on the road at Newberry 56-48. Darren Johnson led the way with 22 points. Barriga wins in dominating fashion over Lakeland and Hubble 70-22. Bark River Harris beats Mid-Pen 57-40.